And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, it's yet another frigid start to the day. Temperatures as of right now sitting at negative 6 in West Lafayette. Winds are from the west 3 miles per hour. That wind chill now down to negative 15. Please, if you have to be outdoors this morning, bundle up. Use as many layers as possible. It is dangerously cold. We could be seeing wind chills as low as negative 20 this morning and really have already seen that negative 20 mark occur this morning already. Check out these current temperatures. These are without the winds. Negative 6 Lafayette. It's negative 8 in Kokomo. It is 10 below 0 as of right now in Fowler and one below in Crawfordsville stepping out the door this morning. Once you take those winds, you add them to the equation, it feels more like negative 18 in Fowler and check out Kokomo, 21 below zero at this point. We may see wind chills fall right around negative 20 even once again to around negative 21 within the next couple of hours. Even as temperatures begin to warm up, winds will begin to gain some speed as well. We'll be seeing wind speeds as high as really 5 to 15 miles per hour later in the day. So when we do see the afternoon high temperatures, even in the positive territory above zero. We still may see those wind chills get down the negative 10 to negative 20 throughout the viewing area. Our satellite radar mainly clear within the last couple of hours. A few light clouds lingering as of right now. However, the area of high pressure far off across the northern Great Plains will continue to sink further off to the east southeast over the next 24 to 48 hours. As it does that, it's going to help clear things out. We're looking at mainly sunny skies later today, but very cool conditions both today as well as tomorrow. All thanks to the position of that high pressure system off to our west bringing in the weak northwesterly winds like they'll be doing over the next 48 hours. Now the good news is that that high pressure will system will continue to track eastward and eventually bring us some warmer temperatures as well. Your high res future cast today looking mainly clear. A few light clouds throughout the viewing area possibility. Now as we get towards the middle part of your evening hours, maybe a few more light clouds but still mainly clear skies. And the mainly clear skies will allow temperatures to plummet once again. Now we're not going to be seeing much afternoon heating. However, Positive temperatures are better than sub-zero temperatures, and that's exactly where we're headed overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. The mainly clear skies will allow the temperatures of right around 9 degrees in Lafayette, 10 in Attica, 10 in Crawfordsville as well, to sink back down below zero to negative 6 Crawfordsville, negative 10 West Lafayette, and check out the northeastern portion of the viewing area overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Peru, negative 17, Staten Story in Winnemac negative 20 in Logansport overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Now the good news is by tomorrow evening that area of high pressure that I mentioned earlier keeping things so clear so cool over the next 24 to 48 hours it will actually eventually kick to the east of us. That's going to shift those winds from the north back down to the south. As it does that temperatures will begin to warm up. We're looking at a high of 9 today. Tomorrow we're looking at a high temperature right around 15 degrees. That's a warming trend that will continue in the Wednesday as well as Thursday. Winds will be east right around 0 to 5 miles per hour. We'll even cool off to negative 2 Tuesday night and the Wednesday morning. However, by Wednesday, we're looking at a high temperature right around 26 degrees. Thursday will even hit 32. Sadly, though, along with the warmer temperatures, does come a chance of snow. We'll see our first round of snow Thursday evening and Friday morning. Another round of snow heads our way on Saturday. But the best news of this forecast, it's not even on the 7-day. The long-range models have temperatures on the rise, not just throughout this week, but for the beginning and the middle part of next week. By next Thursday, we could be seeing temperatures in the mid to, yes, even the upper 40s throughout the viewing area. So that is something I think we're all looking forward to, and we will keep an eye on here as the situation develops. I think the biggest thing to celebrate this week, though, is hopefully we're finally getting out of the negative temperatures <sighs> for good. Uh, well, you know, it's Indiana. It is the winter, and at least until March 20th, when spring officially kicks off, we're still in that Indiana winter. So it looks like things are still going to be staying cold for the time being. Cross your fingers that we're done with the sub-zero temperatures, but don't cross it off your list quite yet. All right, Cameron, thank you.